Do you need to learn backflips for extreme enduro? No, but it's more of a mindset. Challenge yourself to do something impossible, master it, then move on to the next impossible technique. Riding fast? That's the easy bit. Although, coming from a trials background, Reuben does need to work on that as well. But the focus of extreme enduro is getting through gnarly terrain fast, smoothly and with minimum effort. Today, Reuben is working on splats, a trials technique where you launch off a small rock to get up vertical rock faces. And to make it harder, he is looking at off-camber rock faces, which push the rear wheel to one side. Even when it all goes wrong, the idea is a smooth dismount and recovery. Minimal effort, minimal damage to the rider and bike. Even when you think you've got it licked, everything in this terrain can grab your front wheel and spit you off. No problems, just put a foot on one rock, then the next rock, then squat, still holding onto the bike. Easy, not. The next run. Perfect, so time to make it tougher. Look at the size of this mother. Reuben is already very tall, so this is going to be tough. He finds a small rock to use as a kicker, then time for business. It's definitely off camber and pushes the bike to the left. Now this looks awkward. But trials riders are masters of the dismount and Reuben just gets his footing, swings the bike around and prevents the handlebars hitting the ground. Sweet. Ah, almost. In trials you aren't allowed to use trees for support but there's nothing in the extreme enduro rules about that thankfully. Ideally, the front wheel needs to punch the rock for extra lift. Otherwise, the bash plate hits solidly and stops the bike dead. The final run, the front wheel hits, the bash plate clears, and he's over. Nice one, Reuben. Most of us will never get near doing crazy shit like this but we can still focus on setting ourselves challenges in slow, hard terrain. See our video about how to dismount properly and avoid low speed crashes. And may the force be with you.